Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the center backs, right? We are going to be getting very center back focused within today's video. So we are going to be revolving around Lenglet and Jules Koundé. And the reason why we are going to be talking about these two players, it is because Barcelona are heavily trying to change this defensive line for next season. Juan Laporta and Mateo Naman, they do know that Xavi Hernandez is not pleased with the current center back options that he does have. And so it is up to them, right? Mateo Lamar and Joan Laporta to fix this and re-innovate, rejuvenate this defensive line. So we do have some big news when it comes to Lenglet. And it does say here, according to Moises Llorens, the talks are on between Spurs and Barcelona over Lenglet on a loan. Barcelona, who want a permanent transfer but are open to loan deals, hopes the player can be convinced. He is open to leaving Barcelona and a meeting with Conte is extremely possible. And then he continues to say, Tottenham very well does understand and are very open to paying a significant portion of his salary. And keep in mind, a few weeks ago, it was already reported coming from TV3 that Lenglet is now open to leaving Barcelona and go to Tottenham on a two-year loan spell. So this report has been in the media, like this story, like this whole thing about Lenglet and Tottenham has been something that has been existing for the past four to five weeks. And this is huge news for Barcelona. Like I understand that for those of you guys, you guys are probably jumping right now, cheering, screaming. I know that this is great news for you guys because I know that many of you guys do not I want to see Linglet wear the Barcelona shirt next season or not even start within this squad. But this is especially good news, my friends, for FC Barcelona because Barcelona want to sell this player. They want to get rid of him. It is so clear that Xavi Hernandez does not trust Linglet. He does not count on this player. Xavi Hernandez has also made it very clear and going based off what we have been hearing in the past couple of days, he does want to rely on Gerard Piquet, Eric Garcia, Christensen, Araujo, and the player that has been linked to Barcelona. Barcelona in the past few hours, Koundé, which is going to be the dream signing for Barcelona in this summer. And yes, more of a dream signing than Lewandowski, more of a dream signing than Di Maria, Rafinha, or any other player. So sportingly, it does make a lot of sense. And financially, it especially does make a lot of sense because they will be taking Lenglet's wages off from the books, meaning that Barcelona, John Laporta, Mateo Leman, they can fit in more players into this roster. And going based off what we have been seeing like on, on the websites and what transfer market does say like all of these reports right i'm just going to assume that Lenglet is earning around six million euros per season and if you compare that type of salary to the other players salaries Lenglet is probably one of the best salary earned players within this club so this is going to financially help and i hope that john laporta can negotiate a loan deal with Tottenham where there is a mandatory purchase option within that contract and i hope that we do not say anything about like if Lenglet plays less than 20 games in this first season the mandatory option is not going to be active I do not want to see any of that. I just want to see a straight two-year loan deal with a mandatory option to buy in the end. So let's hope, right? Let's hope and pray that Tottenham do everything they can within their power alongside with Conte to sign this player. And Tottenham is going to need it. Like Tottenham is going to the Champions League in this season that is coming up. And Tottenham is going to want to strengthen their defensive line. And the best way they could do that is to sign someone like Lenglet. Tottenham did not even go into the Champions League in the previous season. And so they're going to want to be be in the best shape possible offensively, defensively going into this upcoming season. And so now let's move on towards Kunde. And the main reason why I want to talk about Kunde is because I know that there is something that is confusing many people here based off what we have been hearing today. So let me give you guys some context and I'm going to try my best to explain everything that is going on with Kunde, Chelsea and FC Barcelona. But it does say here, according to Relevo, there is no offer from Barcelona for Kunde. Nothing is in mint either. The club is trying to convince Sevilla to lower the price, but no luck yet. In addition, Chelsea already have an agreement with the player. Barcelona considers Kunde as a goal, even though it is extremely difficult. And keep in mind, Sevilla have already set their price for Kunde, which is going to be 65 million euros. That is going to be the price tag that Sevilla would be willing to accept. But just like how Barcelona is treating the Lewandowski case, this operation, right? They're doing the exact same thing with Kunde. They know what the set price is, but they're still willing to negotiate with Sevilla to lower the price to maybe 50 million euros, maybe 55 million euros for Kunde. And I remember a few days ago, I was saying, okay, the best idea and the best way to approach this whole thing is by bringing in Lenglet into this operation plus cash. But that is not going to be happening. Going based off what we have heard in the past few hours, Lenglet could be going to Tottenham and also Sevilla are not accepting any players in this operation. They just want straight cash. Now let's move on towards the next story. It does say here, according to sources from the Marzio, Jules Kunde is seen more of a target 
target to Chelsea rather than Tuchel, who prefers the likes of De Ligt, who is the main target, and Kimpembe. Now, let's stop here just for a second, right? And this is where I do want to, like, really explain exactly what is going on here because I know that many of you guys are confused. So, here's the thing. It is quite clear that not everybody within Chelsea, in this brand new Chelsea that we are seeing today with a new owner, there are certain people within this club that do not agree with the transfer of Kunde, and one of them is the coach of Chelsea, which is Tuchel. Now, the reason why I am emphasizing the new owner of Chelsea, it is because of this. Chelsea do have a new owner, right? And his name is Todd Bowley or Bali. And the main idea for Chelsea moving forward, going into this brand new season for them is that the brand new owner of Chelsea is going to be the head negotiator, the head person that's going to be talking with all of the players to try and convince them that this is the club for them. He's going to be doing all of the work, like literally everything, almost acting as like the sporting director. And then he's going to be having the other man who is Tuchel as like the scouter, someone who brings in these players and say, hey, can we sign this player? And that is it, right? That is the only two people that are going to be operating in terms of like these transfers. Only two people. That is how Todd Bowley wants to handle these things during this summer. Now, why is this important, right? Because here's the thing. The previous board, right? The sporting directors, everybody that was working within that department wanted Jules Kunde. Like Chelsea have been wanting Jules Kunde since last year in August of 2021. Before they had a new owner. But at the same time, around that time, Tuchel, who was still the coach of Chelsea, was not 100% convinced with Jules Kunde, which is why we are seeing this report basically stating that Chelsea is looking at Jules Kunde as a target, but Tuchel does not really prefer Jules Kunde. He prefers players like De Ligt, who is his main target. I honestly believe that now that Tuchel has all the power, basically, to say that this is the player that should be coming to Chelsea, this is not the player that should be coming to Chelsea, maybe we could see in the next few days Tuchel saying I do not want Jules Kunde," and then that is going to be good news for FC Barcelona that is what I assume is going to be happening like let me give you guys like another example right it's, it's exactly what has been going on at FC Barcelona the previous board was very interested in Lataro Martinez when Xavi Hernandez and Joan Laporta started working together they were looking at the previous reports they were looking at what the previous board of Barcelona was looking at and they were saying they were looking at Lataro Martinez are you kidding me we don't want this player let's scratch this player off I I have no idea why they were trying to scout and sign this player. Another one could be this one. It could be Joan Laporta and Javi Hernandez looking at the previous reports and saying that the previous board was looking at Neymar to sign Neymar immediately whenever they can. And Joan Laporta and Xavi said, no, 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 let's not do that. Like, that's not a good idea. Whatever the previous board was thinking about, that sounds like just like a bunch of problems. We don't need to do that. We have other signings that we could make. Maybe we could sign Ferran Torres, for example. So that is what I do mean. That is what's basically happening at Chelsea. So who knows what this new Chelsea is going to be thinking about Kunde now knowing that Tuchel is going to be having all the power and we know what Tuchel does want now he does want to delete he does want someone like Kimpembe and just rule off the signing of Kunde completely but that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona daily news thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new here welcome to the channel please like subscribe comment and I will see you guys in the next video